Okay, this is to show people how to uh, set up MIDI guitar and just to sort of demonstrate what MIDI guitar is and what it can do at a uh, basic sort of level. Um, so what you do first is you load up MIDI guitar onto an insert channel. Basically I've got the guitar here just dehyde and uh, uh, line in on my audio interface. Enable that. And now it's sort of triggering like a MIDI MIDI piano. Mute that guitar. I've loaded a virtual instrument up here, contact, uh, just with like an organ. And I've rooted the MIDI from basically MIDI guitar it transmits MIDI output to um, from this audio channel onto like a virtual MIDI channel so you set up that it comes in as like audio 1 insert MIDI guitar 2 right so you select that and it's on that instrument. So basically any instrument that you load up as a controller instead of a keyboard you select you know your MIDI guitar input from that insert track. Um, that will allow you to play the organ now using the guitar. <laughs> idea works in uh, polyphonic mode as well as monophonic mode it's quicker in monophonic mode and there is a little bit of latency you have to sort of I think if, if you run it at any lower than 128 samples then you start getting sort of weird behavior it actually adds latency as opposed to taking it away um, and if you're running, at, and you sort of need to run it at 44.1 kilohertz, 16 bit as well, when you're sort of tracking with it to minimize the latency. Um, but other than that, it works pretty well. If you're running at higher sample rates, like higher resolution, 88.2 or 96 kilohertz, um, then you have to increase the buffer size to 256 or 512 so it's probably not as workable and usable at that point it doesn't go down as far as D I'm in drop D at the minute the latest beta update is um, let me see we're on beta 16 at the minute and they seem to have made a lot of improvements since the last version that I used I think it was beta 12 but I've just updated to beta 16 and um The latency seems better. There's not as much. There's not as many ghost notes. Ghost notes, basically, when you take your finger off the fret of the guitar, it would have picked up like the harmonics of the. Oh, what did I just load there? A flugelhorn. I meant to load the trumpet, but whatever. And you can enable um, the likes of 
vibrato and bends and stuff. Hold on, I'll, I'll load up a string patch here and see. In fact, I'll load up something non contact. I'll load up play just to show something else working in it. Um, let me see, Ra, Far East, Plucked, oh, India, Plucked, Sitar, Live Sitar, One, I don't know what the difference between One and Two is. Yeah, so it works pretty well. You can't. I don't know if you would want to be playing any like crazy virtuoso sort of stuff on it, but um, so you need to kind of be aware of where an instrument starts and where it ends in terms of its scales. You could probably trigger key switches and things as well. Um, let's try some strings. Large ensemble. Let's try a string quartet. Seems very quiet. A wee bit of reverb. There we go. You can see, you know, for non-piano players, how useful this plugin is and could be. Especially, I think, for string-based instruments, it, it makes it a lot more playable in general because you've got um, sort of natural legato from playing the guitar. You know, you, you understand how a string-based instrument works. So when you're playing um, a melodic line from a, another string ba based instrument whether it's strings sitar or even like this this is what i find interesting I actually composed an entire song using midi guitar pardon me using midi guitar um and the east west ghost rider guitar and it was like sigur ross style guitars so let's just go sigur guitar in space uh, sustain, master, let's try that one, it's like a key switch thing. I, with a lot of these I find that you need to reduce the attack time on it because it's just absurd.
So yeah. Yeah, so that's fiddling about there, but you get the idea, you know, you can change the sound of your guitar um, by just loading up a different patch, playing it through the mini guitar, and you can end up with like some really interesting amp sounds and stuff. I do find that the attack times on them are kind of ridiculous though. Um, let's see what else there was. Pianos, you could do, I found pianos and drums and things like that are very sort of a bit strange to play them on a, on a guitar. because there's no melodic um, sort of consistency there between what you're playing the guitar and what's what you're hearing it's metals let me see dark star bells I really like tuned ones will be best they have a very limited Um, let's see, Hollywood strings. So for controlling strings and things like that, um, let's go for something. Now these need sort of the vibrato. See that kick the SI when they ask for a second. Usually does that when it's loading though. You get the um, legato and portamento and things. So yeah, that's the basic idea of MIDI guitar too. You could definitely compose with it. I'm sort of wondering, besides the guitar, you could probably use your voice to compose music with it. There's also MIDI uh, bass, which basically allows you to use a bass guitar to control, trigger virtual instruments and things. I'll just demonstrate quickly. You can actually use um, MIDI guitar to to play the bass. So if you've got this Scarby bass, don't know 
why it's doing that. It was one of the bass ones that worked really well with it. Piano, I'll load up Alicia Keys here. You can have a listen to that. felt loaded up in a different channel. Probably works better if you're wearing headphones as well. Because that way you're not going to hear the sort of guitar strings. You're only going to hear the virtual instruments. Um, then you can like use obviously all your kind of strange synths and things. This is another one that I haven't really messed around with. Yeah, so that's MIDI guitar. Cool, very interesting, um, very handy for people like myself that aren't uh, keyboard players. I probably should have demonstrated it in normal tuning or in something that I'm more familiar with because I'm, I'm only just sort of playing around with Open Day at the minute, um, which works for blues based stuff, but it's not, it's confusing when you're trying to play just regular scales because it obviously doesn't translate um, but it gives you an idea of what MIDI guitar does and how it might be worth looking into